what's up guys this is the brain for a minute and i am back to bring you to the <laughs> sorry my phone was going off bring you to the next episode of my empire dead war let's play as the kingdom of portugal and in this episode well not much has been going on in europe we're building up a second another army to be deployed to places or places unknown and we've got this force here at tunis which we're going to resupply uh, original plan was to take out valletta but it may well go to naples and i've been doing some thinking about this if we take naples i may give it to savoy because they've been a true and trusted ally of ours for an awful long time um but our main theater of operations is the americas and mostly we've been pushing down out of the northeast securing a lot of good good territory or territory on the way down so you can see with cherokee have pushed up may cause us some problems but i don't think it's going to really be it's going to really cause us many issues. We're building up another force to go and drive against uh, Michigan Territory. We're starting to convert the peoples of the native territories. And it looks like our agent here has been successful. Rupert's land is good. Let's get him up to the Northwest Territories. Because Rupert's land... I mean, if it's 100% it's Catholicism, so I'm going to destroy the seminary and rebuild it as a... Uh, an industrial building because frankly the turn we've got four turns per year so it's very unlikely that we're going to have any agents who actually well whatever agent this generated uh, he will not die for a very long time um but yes for now let's hit enter and because our tech nothing immediately on the horizon to worry about so let's hit enter so main focus is to try and push against the cherokee Secure more territory. Keep driving down the east coast. Go down to Florida. Ooh, Austrian army. Where's that going? Back into the med. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, my hope would be to get a good position in the Americas, and then that will be our... Our trade empire will be further consolidated with the production of more goods. Spain... I mean, they are... Con <laughs> they're going to blockade some more of our territories, are they? Yep, yeah, we need to take out Naples. Take out Naples, potentially march on Milan. And then, or just, or just need to be a bit more aggressive with a naval campaign against Spain in the Med. That is another route, which may actually be more beneficial. I'm not overly interested in attacking more in Europe yet, except for Morocco. Morocco would be a good target. Um, yeah, so I might have to boost my naval capacities at around the fourth rate level we don't need massive battle fleets to deal with what's coming out of spain um a fleet of fourth and fifths is probably more than adequate or maybe even two smaller squadrons of ships that's probably what we need i want to keep the blockade of malta active because the british do have some fleets i do have a fleet inside valletta harbour now I do not want to make peace. No, it's not Mount Valletta, it's Marshallslock, I believe is how you pronounce it. Yeah, Spain has two military ports. One in Tur uh, Toronto, Toronto, not Toronto, and one in Syracuse. So yeah, it would be preferable to keep those ports constantly raided. So we may do a bit of naval spending here. Yeah, Grand Bahama, because Spain has a territory down here at Curacao. So, who've you got? Yeah, fifth rate war galleon, fourth rate, like a moderate fleet there. Something like you will be perfect to deal with. Although you're notionally a trade fleet, but for less. Let's just auto-resolve this action a minute, just to wipe out a few enemy ships. If we lose ships, that's fine. Taking the fourth rate Santiago. Yeah, back you go. So you men get into Cartagena. Cartagena. Then down here in Tunis, Safaki, let's recruit. A light galley, plus get some fifths recruited. Start to try and raid these ports. Okay, right. Port blockaded, we don't care. Let's not let's do these new town emer has emerged things first. New town emerges Tatooine in Tunis. 
So tune in. Let's go to church school. Let's upgrade the iron workshop. Upgrade the roads across the continent. And when it comes to spending money, the UK has lots of industrial buildings. So let's drop a good number of upgrades there. Then hop over to the Americas. So we can't blitz them and knock them out because they own St. Augustine and uh, Savannah. We're probably going to want to take Mr. Figwed, Figwe, Figwerido and attack Atacalacala. Oh, that's going to be an auto-resolve. That's not quite what I was after. But you take position at the head of the valley. You push forward to Calico. Put them under siege. See if we can draw this army back. Let's get our agent down to Savannah. You head down the east coast to keep the pressure up. Get a couple of upgrades. You guys combine with the militia. Excellent. They're okay. They can handle us not being there. And push on to Michigan Territory, that will cause us some issues with Louisiana. That's not a problem. More recruitment. Some Marines and Lancers, plus some Household Cavalry. Because I can't necessarily remember what I was planning to do with you. It might have been just to go through and blitz Milan. But if we can hobble Naples, then we haven't really got to worry. You're ripe for attacking Valletta, and Valletta's probably as far east as I want to go. Pretty much, I want to create like a naval wall, I suppose, here and here to prevent the passage of enemy enemy ships and goods through the strait. So you may actually stay in Tunis as sort of a guard army. Which leaves you... India is very tempting. Very tempting. It means Ceylon. Actually, let's go for Ceylon. That's where you're going to go, good sir. You're going to march to here. You're going to be transported by this fleet. The militia can make way. So you're going to go take Ceylon. That will add some tea production to our empire. Yep, there it is. And we'll have a small fleet which will want to tactically raid enemy shipping to expand our naval power there. I want to keep this army in London because... We can't really afford to have anyone invade Great Britain, and we are making a bucket load of cash. Yeah, our agents are still doing agent things. The Dutch are doing okay at pushing against the uh, Prussians. Got a strong presence in Europe. I mean, things are going very well. Oh, we've had an election. One thing I didn't know, actually, is if you've got a really crappy government, which my justice mess is really good, you can press this button which will hold an instant election and replace a load of your ministers at once. So what I want to do is get my army minister. Let's try and boot him out. Oh, that's a lot worse. Adriano Ramos. Yep, that's going to cause immediate impacts on my budget. Actually, this sloop can go to Safaki. So we don't need to recruit the galley, which increases the production of fifth rates. Good. Yeah, this, this battle fleet... Very experienced battle fleet. They're keeping this British Navy bottled up. So on go the agents. Where are you going to land? If you landed against... You have landed your troops in Italy. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, the Dutch have done quite well. Oh, now they're doing some raiding behind the Prussian lines. Spain is likely to not, <laughs> not do anything, apparently. Oh, Prussia's on the counter-attack. Oh, and you're going to pursue the Dutch raiders. Good decision. So the raiders have been destroyed. There's a Prussian navy. We're not at war. Oh, and they've raided Rotterdam. It would be good to actually have a look at that Prussian fleet and see what it is we're up against. Will they take Hanover? 
I have I have zero interest in pushing in Europe. They demand Gibraltar for peace. Counteroffer, no concessions, just peace. Refuse. So they can't send naval forces after us because the ports in the north likely up at Severin Mosque haven't uh, developed yet. And we've got large armies in the Baltic preventing the transport of Russian troops to get against us there. The Italians have taken out an Austrian navy and they're reinforcing Rome so they are concerned about that Austrian army. Although it may well have been destroyed in the fog of war. Genoa is also interested at interested in the uh, the British Navy. Ah, uh, the Cherokee have withdrawn. So, let's fight this battle. That will destroy the garrison at Teleco, force these guys east. Yeah, that'll be fine. Their, their army is quite badly depleted. So the army that's on the east side of the the Blue Ridge Mountains, maybe? I'm not quite so hot on that part of the world. Uh, they can push down towards... Well, just keep pushing down the coast. Take Charleston and on down to Florida. Then we can drive east, knock out the Louisianans. Lots of good stuff. So, my... Ooh, that's really good. I like that. Let's form a gun line up here. So one thing I am going to be acutely aware of is the fact that we are we, we are being attacked. Well, this is the city, effectively, that we're besieging, but we are being attacked in the rear, so... Let's form a... Form a relatively good line of defence. And I've got my marines, plus some line infantry, plus my cavalry, plus... Mikale and my general looking south. How it says, just form up and be ready. Right, there we go. Get my howitzers to keep dropping carcass shot against where the enemy force is coming in from. We're not bothered about attacking, we just want to drop carcass shot just to keep getting hits on enemy units as they enter the field. If necessary, we'll, we will we will shift some troops back and around, but for now, I think this will be okay. You're engaging. The mounted tribal gunners are at least attempting to. Other units are going for the chief's bodyguard at the rear. These, these are the first foot guards. I mean, I do love the late marine skin. They're, they just look beautiful. I love them so much. They try and go for a cheeky rear charge on the 44th. That's okay. See, so this is why I like Rukaka shot doing area attack. Or effectively area denial. We know they're over there. They can't stop us. Although well, I may end up... Redeploy my... skirmishes. So I'm kind of counting on them being slow to move out of the area, which I think is a good, a good bet. Get all my guns to engage. Chief's bodyguard at a distance. You probably want to be more like that. It means you guys want to push forward a little bit. Carcass shot the tribal gunners. We may well get. They will suddenly jump out at us. Safe to say, this army is being obliterated. Okay, there's troops in the centre of the town. Oh, 
You engage the bowmen. There we go. Now the enemy started to expose themselves. Okay, I think we may well have. The time has come now with the howitzers just to rejig our priorities. Maybe pull one unit of cavalry back to the main line. Advance regiment of horse forward. These Native American warriors are not going to last well against my battle line. Excellent hits. Go on, skirmishers. You men are opening up. To the, the glorious 49th to hold. Enemy morale must be quite low because they're quite badly depleted. Cavalry out there, the medicine men are still advancing. I actually don't run the cavalry in there, that's a bad idea. Push forward the cavalry. Cavalry charge, you have to do work here. Native American warriors are wavering. Broken. Push the warrior society because they are also wavering. Now they're shaken. Oh, my gorillas are not going to stand up against native warriors, so the general has to charge down the hill. Some men, where's my cavalry? Bring them back over here. The Marines reinforce the front. Fairly sure of this. You're right, we can re deploy our defensive line. There's not many men to worry about. Cavalry smack strength the Native American warriors. General pull back. The skirmishers have managed to push back that melee attack get back to the high ground the regiment of horses storming in to attack the native american warriors they've broken their lines drive through into the bowmen how it's a fire these engage the chief's bodyguard same with all my artillery Marines get front and center. These units withdraw. Well, they may actually, well, to be honest, they might be a bit backwards. I may just, I may end up uh, just redeploying depleted units around. You men withdraw. What's going to happen? My Marines are going to cover the front heroically. Shattered, 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 shattered. Bring this cavalry back. Get the general over. General's bodyguard still on the move. Recall my cavalry. Could well go for general's bodyguard, but all my artillery is going for them. Yeah, there they go. Excellent. Oh, my regulars are in a terrible firing position. They're in a defilade. Okay, let's get some howitzer fire on our opponents. We're going to want to push our right flank up because their terrain is not beneficial for us where we are. 44th. Push up. Now it's fine coming in. Excellent. So the medicine man unit retreat uh, beaten back. You're a bit more exposed now, but 
you ideally you want to push right up to here get right up onto the high ground engage Yeah, my marines, sadly, have just missed out on all the action, but they were the perfect shock troop unit to redeploy. Well, my cavalry down off the flank. Carcass shot coming in. Good hits. You might have to go for the medicine men. Because they're trying to hit us on the flank. Oh, it's a lot of lot killed in the first charge. There we go. Keep the attack going. I oh, know you meant fire it well. Yeah, that's some unnecessary losses there. Make ready. Present. There's the armed tribesman. Is that, that might be the last unit alive. Back you go, you devils. Let's pursue them. We are going to continue because our this army that's here is the this is the uh, the reinforcing one that's on the on the field, not the garrison. Actually, you know, it might not be. Uh, this yeah, this is the garrison, so not quite as beneficial here. But at least focus on hitting the uh, the actual units they've got, rather than garrison units, because they'll probably just redeploy those anyway. Excellent. A little bit of friendly fire there towards the end. So I think the foot artillery. Started to pivot to engage, but that's a significant loss for Sequoia. Excellent, that's broken their resistance against us effectively. 61,000. Nice. Construction report. New, oh, new towns across the board. Villa Hermosa, New Spain. Have a craft workshop. And let's upgrade at one global trading company. Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. Congratulations, you get a craft workshop. You men keep advancing towards Michigan. Let's get a couple of industry upgrades. York Towns got a port, so we're going to upgrade that and get some protection. In case you're able to just attack the remaining troops here of Sequoia. Sadly, he's been killed. So in this army push on to Chikasa. You push on to Charleston. Okay, we are going to fight that. But I just want to get my agent down towards Savannah to see what's just over the horizon. A full Cherokee army. Interesting. We will, we will want you to push up and take Mission Detroit and then start threatening Louisiana from the north. Lest they get an opportunity to threaten us there. Let's get rid of our... Rubbish army minister, four stars. Four stars is, I think, all you can kind of hope for. They're at least providing a positive benefit. The better, obviously, the higher star rating, the better. But, you know, take what you can get. Okay, let's keep the ships recruiting. Right, I think we want to go... Oh, yeah, I want to check out Morocco. How's Morocco doing in terms of our allies? In protector of the United Provinces, and because you're a protector of our ally, we are not going to outright, outright plan to kill you. So let's get some port upgrades. Get some economy upgrades. Firing. Not all of, not too much. Because we do want to attack Charleston. Destroy the 13 colonies for good. Apologies, Vincent Fitzgerald. Your empire will belong to us now. And then we may actually attack... Uh, the Cherokee settlement to the north as well because we've got them on the run. It will take some time to bring Cherokee uh, fully into our sphere of influence, but 
well, that's where our religious agents start to come in. But I, I like... I like ideally I want to build the religious agents in the Cherokee territory or well, the religious buildings inside Cherokee territory. I might actually trawl my guns up to this high ground here. That's pretty good. Okay, one infantry unit to push up. Ahead, push up on the main battle line. Two infantry units and some native auxiliary are going to screen the guns. The bows are going to sort of be in between. All of my cavalry is going to be on the right flank with the general. That's all my guns up on the high ground here. Infantry. Push up like so. Actually, the bows might reinforce the infantry line. Ah, yes. Howitzers. Run. Run. For the cavalry, for the native units, it will expose them. You are likely to actually push. Push through the town. We can't afford to let them engage us unmolested for too long. Natives. Well, you guys are probably going to form... You're originally going to be in a supplemental battle line, but you are now going to actually be responsible for sweeping the right flank. My guns may not actually provide too much of a useful capability being forced on the offensive as they appear to be content to abandon the mortars let's engage them with bayonets rapidly while we can Get the cavalry streaming down the hill colonial light cavalry dragoons glorious how can you not feel an overwhelming so you may mass charge the firelock armed citizenry so they don't hold us up too much. Starting to commit their, their uh, militia troops. I might get my, my bows over to support the left flank. Maybe one infantry unit out on the extreme right, extreme left flank. Oh, here comes the cavalry. Yeah. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Native musket men. Keep pushing. You are critical to our offensive force now. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to break. Ooh, okay, you keep attacking the artillery. You withdraw back into the town. Right, these men form form your defensive line. Push up into the middle of town. The cavalry push up. Skirmishers push out my line infantry is just being left behind my guns are now in position so they're going to unlimber e men run okay we can start to engage the enemy more mortars we may again the skirmishes have started to open up 60th form up in front of the house and begin engaging okay you yeah, it can be or maneuvering in towns can be tricky you are going to experience losses there's not a lot you can do about it 
these two men attack the militia. These cavalry units keep pushing the rear. Here we go. You might hit the general's bodyguard. You might hit the native musket auxiliary. Oh, that, that militia's broken. Hessian line's broken. One of you get the Hessian line, the other on into the garrison militia. Frankly, you men commit with bayonets. And native troops commit with axes. This is they this has been a, a, a very cascading failure here. get involved. These are the Native American mercenaries being engaged by the glorious men of the 4th Dragoons. Yeah, the well, garrison militia is going down. Skirmishers are taking them out. A lot of fire against the armed citizenry. Bowmen engage them with bow fire. The enemy general has been defeated. I fear this is... Yeah, this is very much a... Uh, Cascading failure for the 13 colonies. Excellent. Excellent job. That's another territory for our empire secured. Quite a lucrative one, actually. You get two ports in the Carolinas, don't you? No, just the one at Georgetown. But that's good. So let's repair the government chambers. Let's replenish the army. Let's increase, upgrade our infrastructure to improve our supply lines. And let's get some farm upgrades done because we want to get both this port to be upgraded and also rally up here to be to expand as well. Williamsburg, oh, you're about, Richmond's about to pop next turn. Good stuff. So at Teleco, we can destroy uh, this iron workshop at Sycamore Souls and replace it with a religious building I'm, i think actually if i attack it will draw the reinforcements in there not the end of the world but i think we're okay for now i'd like i'd like you guys to bottle up chikasa so i can take calico simply and then chikasa will fall a bit easier next turn we are still waiting down here with very potent armies i mean you not quite so much mr you know but i believe the pueblo nations create some problems I mean, they're a protector of Georgia. I'm not overly bothered about Georgia. They've just got one... It's one middling navy, and two middling navies. Hmm. Well, when the time comes to strike... Ah, oh, you were meant to go for uh, Sri Lanka. But yes, when the time comes, we'll attack the Pueblo nations so we can open up another front against the Louisiana Empire. Oh. The Prussians have been pushed away from Hanover. Mm. The Dutch taking on the mantle of trying to send as many random individual units around as possible. I didn't check out that Prussian navy, but it doesn't matter. They're going back into the Baltic. The Russians are on the offensive against Prussia. Interesting. If they make it across the north, I mean, that's, well, they, won't, they likely won't get as far enough to uh, threaten us. And if they do, it'll take them sufficiently long that we will be able to fairly easily hold them back. So they've taken Königsberg. Yeah, they are. Yeah, Russia's on the offensive. So Sweden's pushed the Prussians out of their ports. But that makes it more difficult for them to resupply uh, Copenhagen because now the Dutch have control of the strait. Or at the very least, they are contesting the strait. The Cherokee are attacking us. Good. I suppose they, they might have only had one more turn to uh, be able to withstand us. So let's do it. Because then, well, the Cherokee won't be defeated, but we will have broken the back of their empire and captured their capital. No, we can keep pushing down through in towards Florida. Uh, yeah, we are likely to see some individual Louisiana armies cause some problems. 
I'm going to troll my guns up. So let's do three units. Guns on the left, guns on the right. Three units. Marines on the left. Brute my skirmishers. In theory, they shouldn't come from behind us. Kind of on the side, that's okay. I, mean, I don't know why I unlimited my howitzers, it's a bit premature. Maybe not too far up. Just far enough enough to contest. Yeah, there's the enemy. Get into position, skirmishes. Push. And howitzers will be doing well against the enemies here. These marines, I mean, you charge into them, you're in the world of here. So we've got round shot on. Oh, they're being engaged. That's their generals. The chief's bodyguard being engaged by my howitzer fire. Am I moving up my other gun team? I am. And you guys are kind of stationary. You're going to perch up behind the line and fire over their heads. There you go. Now the marines are engaging the chief's bodyguard. Yeah, they've been pushed back. When my guns get into position, these guys are going to really be in trouble. Because they can't afford just to sit back. And they can't really afford to do that now, but they're going to try. Go. Let's advance. So my 45 strong regiment of horse worked their way around. This is as far as they got building the road. Yeah. Three, six, there you go, advance. Unlimber the guns, rely on firing at range. You men advance at speed. You men will warp towards the enemy. My howitzers will unlimber. The guns will unlimber. Maybe all of you push up. And then my skirmishers. We'll push around the flank, fire into the the rear of the enemy. They've got some guns up now. So this gun team, you can... Oh, you're oh, they're just in. Engage the native artillery. Some marines, reload. These are medicine men and Native American warriors, so I don't know the standing back is a bad decision. Chief's bodyguard. Another significant cavalry force. The skirmishers will also engage. Yeah. The skirmishers withdraw. Form square. My line anchor against the square. Some of them go there, they're gonna get caught down on formation. Come on, guerrillas, keep pushing. The cavalry's gonna try and save you in a minute. Keep running, guerrillas, keep running. Cavalry's bought you some time. Excellent, they've not ran. From it actually, the general's bodyguard. Ah, yeah, yeah, those, that's, that's that's correct. That's the right, the right units routed. So form up my line. Human advance. It's 
so everyone, let's not go crazy. My regulars are at very close range. 39th? Yeah, they're not ready to fire yet. My skirmishes may have a, a volley at the pipe. Three, get a few shots, but they're shattered anyway. Another Chief's bodyguard doing the same thing. Uh, they've routed as well. Howitzers push out. General get over onto the left as well, because they seem very keen on that idea. The 7th Regiment of Horse advance into the Bowman. Advance up another section. Uh, regiment of horse fall back. Pursuing my cavalry, they are welcome to pursue right into the square. Now, oh, excellent volley into the into the uh, enemy general's unit. If we can push back the native warriors. We can at least then push up our other flank. I believe we've just killed that general. So then these three infantry units push up rapidly. Keep the skirmishes out on the flank. My regiment of horse to push up. Oh, I've got a garrison native bowman, bowman unit. Bowman! Garrison native bowman unit on the flank. So let's smack them with our regiment of... Might not even be necessary. They route first, but we'll go on into that unit. One more volley. Hit him. Oh, my marines will love you. Charge! Might get a regiment. My weak regiment of horse to go after heel artillery. My foot artillery can uh, cease fire. There goes an enemy unit. Everyone attack that last unit of native warriors. You men bayonet charge the warrior society. Everyone else engage the warrior society. Ha ha! You men about face. Seventy-nine warriors. Let's see what a point blank skirmisher volley will do. 79, 78, 77, 76. Yes, that's enough to break them. The general can deal with it from here. And there goes the warrior society. Oh, there's only two brave warriors in the middle of the crowd. I believe that's all of them. It is, so let's, let's continue. You can knock out this unit of garrison native bowmen. Good. I suppose, I suppose the, uh, strictly speaking, native artillery probably isn't a priority target for us. Oh, these native American warriors are going to escape. Only five of them, though, to tell them to not fight the Portuguese. The Portuguese will never stop. Not until the whole world is ours. Oh, such a good exchange ratio. 1200 to roughly 200. Regiment of Horse, unsurprisingly, very good. Same with the Marines. Yeah, this army is becoming quite experienced in attacking native troops. Courland is raiding the Swedes, and that's okay. Secular humanism. So you've gone on to the abolition of slavery. Good stuff. Richmond, Virginia. Here, have a craft workshop. 
you can have a government council. Just drop a couple of industry upgrades. Good stuff. Oh, I've got a port here. With our guard ship ready. Same here. Excellent. Right. So, Teleco is ours. So, let's get replenishing. Let's knock down the iron workshop. Let's knock down communal farming. It doesn't get. You can't actually build it any better than that if you keep it. Upgrade the roads. Sebastio Big Guerrero can put Chicasa under siege. Could possibly. Ah, oh, just out of range. You are. Hop, skip, and jump away from Detroit. Let's recruit. So American infantry mercenaries chase you down, plus a unit of household cavalry. Household cavalry and a colonial light cavalry. From wherever they need to be recruited from. Oh, Charleston. Interesting. I suppose you're the only one of the government chambers. Everyone else is currently too low level. You're replenishing, otherwise you would jump onto Savannah. Although, what's the... They spotted us. I was hoping I was hoping we'd be able to have a look at what the garrison's like in Savannah, but apparently not. War declared between Sweden and Russia, as is tradition. Traits gained. Expert purser for my navy. So this is the minus four cop keep cost upkeep costs for all naval units. Minus one. This is this is the guy that's currently blockading um Marsha Schlock. Joel de Brijo is is quite a trooper. That's this guy, isn't it? Yep. Attack Teleco. Excellent. Okay, let's go. Actually, first of all, you... How close are you? And they're not going to take long to get to York Factory to convert them. Uh, but when they come back, they'll probably go to... Actually, no, Michigan Territory is not that bad. You, need, you definitely need to get out of here as quickly as possible. It shouldn't take too long to convert York Factory. Churchill will develop in 11 turns. Super good. Monterrey, New Spain. Get Nine Masters Works. I suppose we really want to do that to boost our American recruitment. Hop back to Europe. And I mean, I feel bad about not upgrading Lisbon. It being my capital and all that. Okay, so this army can embark. It's a very severe force to go after the Candy Rebels. Get you back into Cadiz. Let's get a heavy first rate recruited and we'll start to build. No, I need um smaller ships, don't I? Or smaller. Smaller. Uh, lower tier fleets. It's this fifth rate sail over to Toronto, see if you can interdict that. You can interdict it, but there's only a brig in there. You will likely be attacked by these fleets, by these ships, though. So if you're not going to do anything useful, but now you can just blockade Syracuse. And that will prevent the creation of Spanish ships. To attack us, I mean, they're going to keep raiding Palma for the time being. That's okay. 1,300, that's probably all we're going to get. Everyone's replenishing quite well. Right. Uh, selective breeding's on the horizon. Oh, I, get oh, I don't. Oh, I haven't built any steam engine factories, that's why. Soon. Soon. Because I think we start building them in. Yeah, one more turn. Start building them in Spain and Portugal first. So let's hit end turn. That's gonna be see that's gonna give us quite a good uptick in production. Another Austrian fleet is Austrian army. It looks like it's landing in Italy. It's a lot of firepower they're throwing into the mix. Mm, need to get ready to interdict all these Austrian fleets at some point. 
can't afford to let them sail around and do whatever they like. Also, the Dutch are massing again for another um, push into Prussian territory. Oh, they've been well, they've been repelled. I suppose, strictly speaking, one of those armies that's up near the Pueblo Nation's border, I could send down just to take out the last Spanish uh, colonial possession. It's definitely possible. More Dutch troops are being killed by the Prussians. Gotta watch out, Prussia. You got Russia to the east now. And the Ottomans, they've been fairly out of it since they lost Istanbul. I mean, Russia is definitely squeezing in on Prussia in the north. Yeah, they're pushing on. So they've taken Gdansk and heading east, heading west, sorry. Counter offer. No regions. Just peace. Nope. I am not interested in your peace deals. I am not concerned about your military strength. If you want to throw down, we can throw down. See, that's the kind of thing I was expecting to see. Louisiana to... Uh, to begin showing their hand, in which case I may attack the Pueblo nations so that we open up a western front against Louisiana and they have to create, they have to uh, make some quite significant decisions about where they focus. It does bring us into probably into war with Georgia, not that we're really bothered. They've got large, frustrating, well, large annoying fleets, but not large good fleets. It's another rake in... France, let's send the rake to Breslau, see what's going on there. We've got our priest here at Amsterdam, so let's send this rake up to Gdansk. Alliance broken between Prussia and Sweden. We've got steam pump land drainage. Well, let's get some of these government buildings constructed. Our selective breeding did give us a whole bunch of Farms that can be upgraded. Fort Rupert. Let's get this craft workshop. So you're effectively 100% Catholicism. So let's send our agent to King Tuck. In which case, I'm probably going to put a craft workshop because this area or this region's already quite heavily Catholic anyway. I can you leave this territory you can very interesting and i mean they're about to be immediately oh, there's only a thousand people and they're all going to get converted to catholicism next turn so you men can push north to upgrade louis thomas lejeune you can put chicasa under siege You're going to try and catch up to the forces up there in Michigan Territory. This army is up and ready to fight. Put Savannah under siege. So these are both going to be fought, but it's likely to be in the next episode because we're at nearly 50 to 55 minutes. So let's get some upgrades done. Okay. Ooh. Bahamas, that's going to suck up some cash. Let's get these farms upgraded, really. Got a lot of farms across the world. And our ports where appropriate. Because we can we can build uh, top-tier military ports, so it makes sense to do that. They're expensive, but the return is quite significant. And it means that we don't ever have to build them again. It's a... There we go, another 10,000. Let's upgrade Belfast. Steam engine factory, upgrade the farms. Although, actually, we probably don't want to do these, because we need to set up taking Mr. Figuadero. I suppose the better one to kick off with is Savannah. So let's send my rake south to St. Augustine. they got nothing to oppose us. You're going to run up 
Let's try and support this army. I mean, you're, that's actually going to be a water resolve. Just take the territory, replenish it, or repair it, replenish. I've not even built the towns. You're already pretty heavily Catholic as it is. They may that may draw these guys north to try and raid our territories, and if they do, then this force will just strike south. Ooh, you might not want to engage them, not directly. But I digress. I said Mar Marcelino Good old Marco. He's gonna attack Savannah, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for uh, well, two battles that will almost effectively destroy the Cherokee nations. <laughs> We're fighting Big Mouth. Right, yeah. See you next time everyone. <laughs>